Thanks everyone for joining me for another episode of Let's Talk Travel, where I keep trying to share small group trips. There's amazing places to go with amazing tour leaders. A lot of them are women that I know personally and would travel with. Um, today, I'm gonna to take a few minutes and talk about a budget, a wallet-friendly New England trip. Um, I know New England can be super expensive in autumn. Um, Unfortunately, I see Holiday Inns and your basic Best Westerns really selling for 300 and this time $400 on like the weekends. Like if it's Columbus Day weekend, which is now Indigenous Peoples weekend, or it's any of the weekends because you get a lot of travelers from Boston, New York City, other areas that go up to Vermont, Massachusetts, New Hampshire for that quick fall weekend getaway. So the prices just get really crazy. So what I did was kind of go out in search of a nice, a couple nice Airbnbs that have several rooms. Yes, you might have to share bathrooms. So this would be a women's only trip at this time on the budget trip. And I looked for a place that I love. Like for me, when I live in the desert um, part-time, being by a lake, being in the woods is just so refreshing this time of year. So I found a couple bed and breakfasts. Well, no, they're not bed and breakfasts. <laughs> they're Airbnbs with a full kitchen. They have a patio to sit on. They have an area like a kind of what you'd call a living room, a family room to gather, which when you're staying with a group of women, it's fun. You know, you can, in the evening, it gets dark this time of year about six o'clock. So Maybe you wanna play some board games. Maybe you wanna just sit out on the back patio with your sweater and maybe they have one of those little grills and we can make some, you know, some um, s'mores or just listen to the loons on the lake or look at the stars and just enjoy that experience. Kind of like summer camp. I never really got to go to summer camp. So this is my idea. Instead of summer camp, it's autumn camp, you know, just being together. This also opens up the opportunity if you just want to stay during the day at the property and write or paint or take a walk, you have that option too. So I'm kind of setting this up for multiple things, kind of what I call a creative fall camp. So I'm hoping to invite or have one of my artist friends. So if you want to learn to watercolor, learn to paint, and painting is for everyone, you know, sometimes it's just all about getting started. We can't judge ourselves like, hey, I don't know how to paint. You know what? You got to get started. You just got to start. I love the story of Grandma Moses, who grew up in New England. She really didn't start painting until she was, I'd have to double check, but I think close to 70 years old and realized that she loved painting these little villages and then started selling her artwork. So now her grandson i believe his name is will moses has kind of carried on in that tradition but grandma moses is my example of it's never too late in life to start doing something you love or think you want to try so we would meet in manchester new hampshire that's the smaller regional airport i would make sure to pick you up or have a shuttle to get you to where we're going to stay most likely i would have to pick you up with our van which I like to use comfortable vans that are easy to get in and out of and have room for luggage when this is only going to be a week, which I'm looking at October 13 through 20. You don't need that many clothes for autumn, you know, a couple nice sweaters, wear layers, bring layers because it can get warm during the day when the sun is out. And depending on how your body temperature runs, you might be need a sweater and some of you like my sister who's always been kind of what i say warm blooded she'd still have a t-shirt on if it was chilly in the fall so kind of judge look at the temperatures but daytime temps can be like 70 i've seen it as high as 72. the nights by the lake will get cooler but i still the last several years i haven't seen frost which i'm kind of disappointed not to see frost but i would say 32 is your low, so you will want a sweater or some pieces to layer. A jacket is super important in the fall in case we get some rain. Um, having a hood on your jacket makes it nice. So if you're walking and you have your camera or even your cell phone that you're kind of trying to keep dry, 
you know, you're not fighting with the umbrella if it's windy. So what we would do during the day is we would have breakfast items available. You can kind of make your own breakfast. Those of you that want to get up early, I'll be taking people out for sunrise. I love to go get some sunrise photos at the places I know in the area. Um, this lake is located probably only about maybe 45 minutes to an hour at max from some really great places to take pictures, waterfalls, covered bridges, um, there's the back roads that have little towns with churches and steeples, but I know this lake well. So even being on property and just watching the leaves change or taking a hike around that area, I don't believe it's too far from town, depending on how comfortable you are walking, but most of this area is fairly flat. So we're not staying in a mountainous area. The rooms are I think there's a downstairs bedroom. So again, if that's a stair issue, we can assign you to the downstairs bedroom. We would have some shared bathrooms in this situation, but again, this way we can save money on the total price of the trip. I'm not gonna publicly say the price just because depending on what kind of lodging it is, I have one currently reserved. You know, the price may vary a little, but I will say it's, I haven't been able to offer a price this low since 2005. So that tells you that's almost 20 years. It's been a long time since I've been able to offer a trip this low. And if there's things like admission fees, oftentimes I'll cover that to state parks or to historic spots, but this is a really great chance just to relax, be in nature. If you're a writer, um, do some writing. If you love photography, of course, you're more than welcome. Um, even if it's just with your cell phone, join me for the day. I love to go explore. We go explore small towns. We would drive the Kank Highway, which is Route 112 through New Hampshire, a well-known scenic route. Since it is the second, oh, it's actually actually almost the third week of October, we may even take a day trip over to the main coast, which is in within reach so that we can see a lighthouse, have a lobster dinner, maybe take a boat ride. So all of those things, depending on um, the price point, which I may have different prices, it may be kind of like a la carte, you know, you wanna pay for lodging, it's this price and you rent your own car. Or if you wanna pay for the full package, it'll have all the bells and whistles combined. So I'm really trying to work with people that haven't gotten to see New England. It's a place that's really dear to me and a place that provides really that October experience of seeing pumpkins crunching through the leaves for throwing leaves in the air, all the stuff I miss being a kid growing up in Iowa and um, even more so because they've got all the white steepled villages and cider donuts. I'm definitely, I like to snack all day. So I'm a snacker, you know, <laughs> so we'll have plenty of goodies, lots of snacks in the car. So I just want to encourage any of you ladies, if you'd like to join me, Drop me a message. You can find me at yourphototravelguide.com. That will be in the show notes. Uh, my email is april at jeffsong, that's J-E-F, like Frank, one F, song, S-O-N-G.com. And I hope to be able to do this and have a lot of fun and be able to keep doing it. It's kind of my idea of summer camp, but in the fall. Thank you so much for taking a listen and Contact me and hope to see you out in New Hampshire. Thanks guys. Did you have questions, Heather? How many people would you, how, what's the maximum number of people that you would take on the trip? Uh, 10. Okay. So with 10, we would have probably two vehicles and I'd have a second person helping so that way it's kind of nice because one person would always maybe be at the property or have other activities planned so there's always a second vehicle available for people great question all right guys thanks for listening and stay tuned for our next let's talk travel if you'd like to be a special guest like heather reach out I'm always open to having a few special guests to ask questions and just be our cheerleader. So thank you so much, Heather, for joining from Iowa, my home state, my hometown of Ames. And I'll be looking forward to actually seeing the Cyclones play. So thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs>